Thailand has had one of the most successful responses to the COVID-19 crisis around the globe. And that's because they've taken a very middle ground approach to everything. Yes, they do have lockdowns, but they're localized and they're temporary. And then they try to get things back to normal as fast as possible. And the Thai government has been relatively slow to get involved in the vaccine campaign. That doesn't mean they're not doing anything about it. They're just taking their time. And now we can see that that's actually a very smart thing to do. We are watching the Pfizer jab kill people around the globe. Uh, we have the British government telling people with a history of allergies not to even take the vaccine. We have people in Norway, the Norwegian government, in fact, saying that, well, old, frail people are going to die soon anyway, so we shouldn't even give them the vaccine. It's too dangerous. Uh, after they gave it to them and uh, over 20 people died. And we have paralysis. And also in Israel, we have the fact that people are getting the Pfizer vaccine and they're still catching COVID-19. So what is the point? And that's because developing a vaccine in seven months is impossible. You can't do it. The, the record before this was four years. It takes years to get the amount of data back to understand not only the short-term effects and, and efficacy, but the intermediate and long-term effects as well. Now we have this US-backed opposition figure, Tanaton. He's here in Thailand. He's condemning the government for their response to COVID-19 and the fact that they're not moving fast enough uh, with the vaccine campaign. And apparently Tanaton is as ignorant about vaccines and healthcare as he is about how to run a, a viable, effective opposition. Uh, because again, it takes years to develop a vaccine and anyone who rushes into it faster than that is endangering people's lives. And I guarantee you that if the Thai government did do it quickly, if they were already giving these jabs out to people and people were dying, he would be complaining about that. Now, there's one more thing that I wanna talk about regarding Tanaton and his criticism of the Thai government's COVID-19 response. He's condemning this company, Siam Bioscience. And on their own website, this is what they say. They have the resolute commitment to improve patients' access to high quality and affordable medicines to facilitate healthcare security and to care for the health of Thai people and beyond. Now, what that means, because if you're familiar with the Thai healthcare system, uh, Thailand has universal healthcare. Uh, if you're a Thai citizen and you get sick, you pay a symbolic 30 baht for your treatment and the government funds everything else. There's also this uh, aspect of Thai healthcare where the government and, and companies like Siam Bioscience, they will take a drug made in the West, offered for sale by the West, they understand the formula, they know it's a simple and cheap thing to make, and then they just make it themselves. And they often get pressured from the West because they do it off license, uh, and, they, and they make it accessible to the public because of that. Uh, a good example is HIV antiviral medication. The Thai government makes this off license. They have been pressured for years by the, by the West to change that, to, to license it and to pay the full price for it. But that would make it inaccessible to people who actually need it, who would die without it. So that is the difference between how medication is made in Thailand and how it's made in the West. Thailand doesn't want to dangle, you know, antiviral medication over the heads of dying people and, and squeeze every penny, or in Thailand's case, every satang out of their wallet. This is inhuman to do that, but this is what the West does. They've normalized this. They've normalized it to the point where someone like Tanaton will criticize Siam Bioscience for not making huge amounts of profit. Now, Tanaton is also a billionaire. So this is a man who has no concept what it means to have a expensive medical bill. Any healthcare cost that he has ever faced in his entire life when he pays it out, no matter how expensive, is mere pocket change for him. He is a man who cannot remember whether he donated 100 million Thai baht to his political party or 110 million baht to his political party because for him, 10 million baht is nothing. 100, and I couldn't remember exactly, but it's I think about 105 to 110 million Thai baht. Um, so I lent to the party. And by the way, Siam Bioscience has a connection with the royal family. And it's no secret that the royal family is also rich, but apparently they get it. Apparently they get how important it is 
to make cheap medicine available to the public, where Tanatan seems not able to grasp this. Tanatan is a guy who, uh, when he ran his family's factory, because he's not a self-made billionaire, he had it all handed to him by his mother and father. When he was running his family's factory, he would bust up unions. That, that's what he would do. That's how he sees ordinary people, as, as an obstruction to wealth. Whereas he's criticizing the royal family for running a business at a loss, because in their own mission statement, their goal is to make affordable medicine, not to make huge piles of money. So I just thought I'd point that out. I think it's important for people to know that this is where Tanatan's actually coming from. And this is where things stand with the COVID-19 crisis and Thailand's response to it. If you like this video, please like and share it. Think about subscribing to my channel. It helps the channel grow and I really appreciate that. Look in the video description for links to the references I used for this video, as well as for ways you can help support my work, like through Patreon. Through Patreon, you can help support my work month to month, but you also get extra content and benefits in return. And to everyone everywhere helping me in absolutely every way, thank you so much. I couldn't do this without your support. And as always, thank you for watching.